Alrighty, so I have finally finished the third season of Breaking Bad. I say finally like I haven't done it a couple of weeks back, and I'm almost done with season four. Yeah, I'm really behind, but today I'm going to continue my Breaking Bad review series by reviewing season three. But before I get started, I want you guys to join me down below in the comment section. Tell me, what is your opinion on season three of Breaking Bad? Is this the greatest season, or is it not the greatest season? I want to know all that and more. Also, please subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the bell if you want notifications for all my future uploads. And with that said, let's get started. And this is how this is going to work. First off, we're going to start off with the pros, and then we're going to go on to talking about each individual characters character arc in this season I enjoy talking about the people's character arcs what they do what they experience throughout the season and that is what we're going to do after we talk about the pros and then we're going to talk about the cons of the season so with that said let's get started my first pro is when the season is on it is on it is great when it is on if you're talking about the Salamancas attacking Hank, if you're talking about Gus Fring and all the things that he does and all the horrors that we are prepared for to come in the final episode of the season, when the season is on, it is on. It's more on than it's not, but even though the season was one of the weaker ones in my opinion, I, it still was very good. For the first last two episodes, I was so invested in the story that all I could think about was, Oh my gosh, how are they going to get out of this? And so I binged those back to back, and I was I was basically sh sitting in shock silence by how the, it ended, and it ended in such a great way throughout this one. I think that when this season is on, it is on. Even the Salamanca's attacking Hank. At first, when we got the villains, I was sitting back, and I was thinking, that's weird, I don't really like that. And then, when we head on to the rest of the show, and we see True Purposes, I sat back, and I was like, that is great and that is another con a uh, pro of the season is that this season isn't just these guys they're cooking meth and they experience some troubles along the way we have an actual threat through the majority of the season you see these salamancas you see they want to kill walter you see they want to kill hank and so you get that incoming threat and with that combined with gus fring and and Gus Fring, and he's dangerous, and you're scared of him, then that makes for compelling villains, and that makes for some edge-on-your-seat thrills and chills. I was really, really on the edge of my seat through a lot of these episodes, and that combined with when the season is on, it is great. So many great scenes in this that made me just shake, and it was great. It was intense. This has proven that this can be one of the best shows of all time. On top of that, the character arcs, they're not all terrible. I do like a lot of them. I do like the characters. Like I said, Gus Fring is a great villain. We also got the addition of some characters like Mike, and Mike, I think, is a great character. At first, I was like, okay, he's just there to come in and fix things every once in a while. No. Mike is a absolutely fantastic character I think that comes in here and he's willing to take out people and we get a literal whole 10 minute sequence where he's walking in a building doing some super spy stuff and that was one of the best sequences of the show I was like wow and Mike is so great instead I actually could take a spin-off show for Mike because I like that character so much he's so cool and so entertaining and so is all the other characters now we're going to talk about the character arcs Walter White's character arc basically takes, takes a step back from the second season. In the second season, you start to see him become the Heisenberg. He doesn't care who dies. He doesn't care who gets in a way. If they get in his way, they die. In this season, he takes a step back because his wife, Skyler, finds out that he is a drug dealer. And so he's trying to get his family back together. But there are intense moments where he, he knows he wants to be in the lab. He knows he wants to cook meth. And so Gus offers him a deal, signs the divorce papers, he cooks meth. That's all he cares about is cooking meth. And Walter White's character arc, I think, is really good. I always think his character arc is really good because this is a man that in the first season, he gets cancer, then he snaps. And then in the second season, he continues going down this path. Here he tries to fix his life, but he fails and he becomes Heisenberg. And when we see season four, he's probably his best character arc in season four from what I watched of it so far. I'm genuinely enjoying his character arc in season four. We go to Skylar, and Skylar... I'm going to say something really controversial here, okay? Skylar's character arc in season three was not bad. Don't get me wrong. Hated her in season one. Hated her in season two. Hated her in season four so far. 
the one in season three isn't bad. It's because her main character arc is she wants a divorce because her husband is cooking meth. Understandable. I can kind of side with that. She doesn't want to go to jail. So, okay, sure, she still played really annoying. But, of course, I really... I didn't mind her character arc. Pinkman in here, he has one of his best character arcs as well. In the end of season two, you see him. He's getting high off heroin. And then his girlfriend, at the time, dies of an overdose. And so he's trying to get his life back together. He's trying to stop being a junkie. But on the same time, he's still cooking the meth. And he's still trying to sell his own meth so he can get money. So he's still got his flaws. But when he's not doing the drug... He feels much cleaner, and he was on his step path to get to the great to where he wanted to be. And in season four, kind of erased all that. In season four, I hate what Jesse's doing. Does that mean I hate his character arc? No, not particularly. I just hate what the character himself is doing. And so, yeah, I don't mind Jesse's character arc here. I really do like it. Um, Mike Ermanhout, like I said, he doesn't really have his own character arc. He's basically just there to do that. But he's just such a cool character, and I really like him. Saul Goodman doesn't really have his own character arc. He's basically the same little lawyer like he is in every season. Still love Baba Odenkirk in this role. I think he's one of the best things to come to this show. And I am i don't know how they're going to do a spinoff. I don't know if I will like it. But I am eager to check it out was one of the best parts of the show and then everyone else in the show we got hank schreider he want he is close to finding who this uh what's his name he's close to finding who heisenberg is and so he wants to find heisenberg and so he completely just goes off the rails and he attacks pinkman and then his life goes down spiral and that leads to salamacus to attack him to where he's injured and even though his character arc in season four because he got injured i'm not all that big of a fan of the majority of the character arc in the season is done really really well that's all for the character arcs i do like a lot of these character arcs i do like the characters another pro is how they're played obviously brian cranston is great aaron uh aaron is great in this role as jesse pinkman uh everybody here is great Bob Odenkirk, like I said, is one of the best things about the show. I think everybody plays their character so great. Giancarlo Esposito plays the best villain in the franchise. It's a show that all the characters are likable and dangerous and played very well by what they're written and who they are. And it's really great, and I really like these characters. Overall, when the show is on, it's on. I really do like it. Uh, there's some intense moments. Giancarlo Esposito has the best villain in the series. The thing is, this season is one of the weaker ones since season one, and it kind of pulled me out of the rest of the show, because, if we're being honest, this season is more like the season of, yeah, we are running out of ideas. This is a season to where more episodes, I left it thinking, yeah, could have had so much more, but we didn't. Each episode could have progressed the story more, but it didn't. And it felt like a lot of the episodes were just absolutely pointless. Like I said, a lot of the episodes, I was intense on the edge of my seat. It really worked. But as we head into those final two episodes, a couple of episodes before that, I just felt were pointless and bored. And I was like, okay, time to watch another episode of Breaking Bad. Let's see what's happening. And this the season kind of erased my super love for the show after season two i thought this was the best show of all time season three kind of set me back a little bit and even season four so far i do like season four i like it a lot i think it does a lot of things right but season four it's kind of hard for me to get into and maybe i think that's because the show's sort of running out of steam for me it did all of its bag of tricks before i don't really know of course like i said when it does something new like the villain being great or intense moments that is when i love the show that's when i sit down and i say this show is the best show of all time magic of walter and jesse cooking meth is really no longer there we got a whole season of cooking meth that was fun these later seasons when we just watch them cooking meth it's not all that fun when it does the new stuff when it does the interesting stuff that is when i'm invested in the show but the old stuff what we had a whole season two about which i think was done really well in season two doesn't necessarily work all that well here and that's really disappointing because just because of that itself i sat back and i was like yeah it's a good season 
but I'm just not... I, it's just not as good as Season 2, and it starts to go downhill for me. Same thing, like I said, with Season 4. Season 4, I so far, I do think it's better than this season. I do like it, because the season had that negative that really crawled it down. It was kind of hard to watch some episodes for me. But overall, it's still a pretty great season. It's still a really good show. Just kind of set me back, and I don't necessarily love it as much as I did after Season 2. I'm hoping season five or the end of season four will set all that back. I'm really invested in season four right now. My score for Breaking Bad season three is gonna be an A minus. I mean, still, even at one of its weakest seasons, it's still a really great show and it's still exactly what I wanted from a season, except if you, ha minus a couple of flaws, the best, the worst that the show can be is an A minus. Same thing with season one. I just really hope that season five switches me around I was calling this show the greatest thing to ever walk the earth and now I was just like yeah it's a good great show it's got some issues though and so I'm really hoping the rest of the seasons can change it but you will find out what I think in season four review I plan on finishing season four in the next week week and a half and that means three weeks later you're gonna get my review because that's exactly what happened with this one. Also, I got Evil Dead Rides and Fast X review coming up. They're going to be a combined review. And then I got a bunch of videos for Fast and Furious. I got a Fast and Furious ranking. I got probably a Fast and Furious character ranking on this channel. And then I got a fa either Fast and Furious villains ranked or Fast and Furious final battles ranked. I haven't yet decided. Go to my Twitter. I put up a poll. I don't think anybody voted. So go to that poll and vote which one you want to see on my second channel. But with that said... Thank you for clicking on this video and subscribe to join the Nerd Army. Peace out.